What's up, family? This just in. If he's not paying every single bill in that house, he don't run nothing. Advice from a married woman. By a show of hands, thumbs up if you believe that. If he's not paying every single bill in the household, he don't run nothing. <sighs> family. There's this woman, I don't know her name, but I have seen her on the internet a few times. Don't know her name. But she gives some of the most asinine advice known to mankind and womankind. This woman told anybody who would listen, talking to women, if you don't like you wearing hair and makeup, you know, wearing weave and makeup, Put the weave and makeup on and walk out the door. If he don't like you wearing long nails or red nails, put the long nails on and red nails on and walk out the door. If he don't like something you're wearing, put it on and walk around the house and say, yeah, you don't run nothing. How in the world is that conducive to having a healthy relationship when she's advising women to do everything that their significant other don't like? How? How is that good advice? Meanwhile, she's over there somewhere married, allegedly. Fam, I'm not fooled by this. I'm not fooled by this tough talk at all. She sounds like a bitter woman because there are not happily married women out there who are spewing this type of information unless they're doing it on purpose and it's a straight money grab. They know there are some singers out there that are like that. They will say whatever they gotta say to get the bag and they'll talk about celebrating a single life. Meanwhile, they're married, happily married, anything to get the bag. And I suspect that's what this chick is doing. Or perhaps she's in a relationship where she is actually unhappy. She's bitter and she's projecting her negative energy on other women, vulnerable women specifically. Perhaps She's telling, she's living vicariously through those women that are single. Like, this is what you should do. In other words, this is what I should do, but I ain't got the courage to do it. So I'm telling you what you should do. Because no man is going to tolerate that. I mean, not a man that women desire. I'm talking about a man that a woman really wants. I've seen women have the type of men who are suckers and simps and stuff like that. And, you know, they'll be with them. Some, some of them will even lay down and let them go in them and procreate with them. Yuck. <sighs> but they'll do it. They'll be with that type of dude, but they won't respect him. They won't respect him at all. I've seen women do it. I've seen women go upside dudes' heads who they're in relationships with, have talk to them really reckless call them all kinds of names. In fact, I'm going to do a video about one of them real shortly. May, I might do it today. I may wait till tomorrow, but I'm going to do a video about this woman who disrespected her boyfriend. Called him everything but a child of God. But let's get back to this chick. Advising women to leave their relationships. Not to try to get understanding and work things out, but to actually just leave. I personally don't advise people to leave relationships unless the relationship is abusive in some manner. You know, if, if it's a toxic, dangerous situation, yeah, you better get on up out of there. And it don't have to come to blows to be toxic. You know, uh, a lot of times the toxicity shows itself in what a person says. Sometimes people make threats well before they actually act on those threats. You know, 
before they hit you, they'll talk about hitting you. Or they'll like certain videos and posts about men swinging on women, men killing women, shooting women. So you gotta be very careful. If I were you guys, I would pay very close attention to how men uh, uh, communicate on social media because they'll tell you who they are. And women will do the same thing. They'll tell you exactly who they are on social media. All you gotta do, you know, they may not, you may not get it on the first post, may not be the second post. Go down that timeline. It's very hard to fake it for a few years. But some, for a lot of people, hell, it's hard to fake it for a few hours. But go down that timeline, ask a few questions. You'll get your answer. Anyway, fam, y'all drop a comment and let me know what y'all think about this. I'd love to hear your thoughts. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?